It's where we live, where we earn a living, raise kids, make plans, and live out our dreams in retirement. Canada is our home, and it's a pretty good place to live. Like any home, we want a solid foundation under our feet, strong supports to hold it up, shelter from bad weather, a safe, secure place to live, and we want to be able to pay the bills. Life is busy. School, job hunting or working, juggling the bills, trying to get a few holidays in now and then, sometimes leads to neglect of the housework and home repairs. In a way, Canada's like that. Over the years, we've let our bills add up and let cracks grow in our foundation. As we go about our busy lives, Canada is falling into disrepair. We're living in a home that's uh, broken down. The foundations are crumbled, the Social Security uh, roof is leaking, and the federal government's occupying too many rooms in the house. And what we'd like to do, rather than just plaster it over or try to fix it up, is to rebuild the national house from the ground up. We're working longer hours and harder than ever before, but the bills and taxes keep eating up a bigger chunk of the paycheck. Despite all the taxes people pay, our country's half trillion dollar debt is growing, not shrinking. Their share of this so-called national mortgage is about $19,000. About a third of the money Canadians pay in taxes each year is spent on interest on this debt, forcing the country to borrow more money just to pay the other bills. It's kind of like using MasterCard to pay off Visa. And everyone knows that taking out a loan to pay a loan eventually leads to the credit being maxed out and cut off. The debt's a huge burden on everybody, uh, not just taxpayers. It's the main reason why we have such high unemployment. It's the main reason why governments have to cut back on pensions and health care spending. Most Canadians enjoy a really decent standard of living, and yet if we want to keep it the way it is and even make it better, we have to get this country back on a solid financial foundation. We all want to be treated fairly by the government, but in Canada, citizens and provinces are not treated equally. Canada is built on a fault line that is straining and cracking the foundation of our home. Language and culture, rather than simple Canadian citizenship, determine our status in the Canadian household, and it's the basis for many laws and government actions. Well, the foundation that Canada's been built on constitutionally is the idea of Canada as a partnership between racial groups. Uh, our, our view is that that's caused a great deal of disunity and that if you were rebuilding the foundations of the National House, you would build them on the foundation of equal citizens and equal provinces and that that would be a more secure foundation for the 21st century. I got involved with the Reform Party because je viens de la province de Québec. I come from the province of Quebec and I want to be treated as an equal in this country. The federal government makes a lot of decisions that affect me, my family, my bank account, and my safety. And I want to make sure that those decisions are made fairly and are made equally for all Canadians. Reform believes that uh, people who live in the country and are paying for this home ought to have some say, at least, in how the household is run. That means that we need uh, more democratic and sensible government. Reform believes that the common sense of the Canadian people needs to be represented in Ottawa, and that's why we're there. When we went door knocking during the election, uh, people told us that they wanted us to deliver their message to Ottawa and not the other way around. And we've worked extremely hard since then to try and accurately represent the views of our constituents in Ottawa. And I think at the end of the day, that's what people want and they feel has been missing from federal politics up until now. There are changes going on in the neighborhood around us. Downsizing, free trade, technology, it's impossible to keep up with the frenzied pace. I'm tiring to even think about making it through rush hour, let alone traveling through cyberspace. But the new economy that brings things like the information superhighway and global trade also brings exciting opportunities to help us learn more, work better, and lead better lives. Entrepreneurs and business people who create the majority of all jobs should be freed up to do what they do best. I think it makes sense. Reform wants a smaller and more efficient government, and it makes sense. Canada is just too big and too complex to expect a big federal government somewhere to manage every aspect of our lives. So what we're saying is let's let individual people run their lives to the best of their ability and on those things that we all hold in common, well perhaps there is a role for the federal government to play, but by and large people can make these decisions themselves. For years, we've been able to visit the doctor and have the full cost taken care of. 
we counted on cheap education, financial help in times of unemployment, and guaranteed pensions. But now, the roof of our national home, which shelters us from the bad weather that life brings us, like sickness, job loss, and aging problems, has become so leaky and heavy it's about to collapse. We need a new roof for the house. And our, our view is that that house, that roof should be, uh, uh, can be built by localizing and personalizing and decentralizing the delivery of social services. We need a complete rebuilding of that roof that provides security from illness and unemployment and old age. Reformers have shown courage by tackling the taboo subject of social reform, thinking about new and better ways and making sure that programs like health care survive. We want to be able to walk any street, to be secure after we lock up the doors at night, and know that the playgrounds and schools are free of crime. But every time we turn on the TV, we're reminded that the neighborhood has become unsafe for our families. The Reform Party wants to make the security system of our national home stronger, to protect us from criminals. I really don't want to be looking over my shoulder every time I walk down the street or, or get off a bus. I want to live in a safe place. And I think the Reform Party is willing to stop the talk and make real changes to our justice system. Canadians have three options. The, the Liberal government is saying, look, there's nothing much wrong with the house. We just got to repaint it and patch it up a little bit and it, it'll be fine. You got a lot of people who are saying that uh, we're going to leave the house. And it isn't just the separatists. The separatists say, well, the house can't be repaired, so we're going to leave. But you've got many people that are leaving this country for other countries because they, they feel that uh, no one is addressing the rebuilding of the house. We say the third option, the best option, is let's acknowledge that there's problems with the house, but let's get on with fixing it. Fix the foundation, rebuild the foundations, rebuild the walls, rebuild the roof. I left my teaching job and went to Parliament because I had a passion for this country and saw that it was falling down the drain in the 80s when the debt was just doubling. I said, I'm willing to give up some years of my prime career in teaching. I want to do it because I'll never go to bed at night ever for the rest of my life saying, I wish I had done something for my country. Well, if you want a new and better national home, you could stand back and say, well, let's, let, let's find some bunch that'll build it and let's stand back and watch them do it. And if we don't like it, we'll criticize it. But uh, the National House won't get rebuilt that way. The way it'll get rebuilt is by Canadians involving themselves in fixing the foundation, by demanding deficit reduction and tax reductions, by Canadians getting involved in restructuring the social services, by Canadians getting involved in rebuilding their national home. That's the way it's going to happen. It will happen.